Now, Toys R Us has been the country's biggest toy shop for years, and today, bosses try to find a last-minute solution to keep the business alive. The retailer is hours away from collapse as it struggles to deal with a huge pension deficit. And today, a compromise deal was proposed, but so far, there are still no answers for more than 3,000 people waiting to hear whether they'll lose their jobs before Christmas. Sky's Becky Williams reports. Toys are part and parcel at Christmas, but many traditional retailers are under pressure, not only from online shopping, but from increasing rents and living wages. In fact, one of Britain's biggest toy shops, Toys R Us, faces an uncertain future, with a rescue deal for the company hanging by a thread. Sky News understands that Toys R Us has proposed a last-ditch compromise that would wipe out its pensions deficit in a decade, in a bid to try and save thousands of jobs. But that falls short of the Pension Protection Fund's demand for a £9 million contribution up front. If the PPF doesn't feel that the company is behaving well enough to support its scheme and that the best outcome is going to be an immediate insolvency, then tomorrow the PPF will vote against the deal and the company will, unfortunately, go into administration. Toys R Us needs the support of the pensions lifeboat in order to restructure, and that's exactly what the company wants to do. The plan is to shut around a quarter of stores up and down the country and lower rents elsewhere. Well, in the 80s, we were quite content to drive to the out-of-town retail parks. Today, our preference is to come back into the centre environment or, or the high street. And and I think that's having its toll. Um, and the other th big uh, factor I find with Toys R Us is that perhaps their online experience is not as good as Amazon. It's not as good as its Tesco online as well. And whilst everywhere on the high street shops are gearing up for the festive season at the busiest time of year, it seems people's retail habits in general are changing. Quite upset by that, yeah. If they've been going for so long, I think it'd be sad to see them shut down. Most of it's done online, probably 80% now. And yeah, just to top up and have a walk around, see what you've got online and yeah. If I could just sit at home and do it on all on the computer, it would be fine. For decades, Toys R Us has been a regular staple for children up and down the country. But the company will need to agree a way forward in order to protect not only its future, but more than 3,000 jobs this Christmas. Rebecca Williams, Sky News in Bristol.